Yes, here it is. I can't believe it. we actually have a day like this. A kick-ass hero day. Be they male, be they female, be they even beast. Yes, I said it, beast. Because who would hit, really want to face him? Yep, the dreaded karate kung fu Ass kicking monkey and grandma's boy. Whew. Badass animal. Today's background is brought to you by those that kick ass. Of course, we have Ash and the Evil Dead, the monkey, the chimp, the legend, the badass beast from whatever that dude's house is. <laughs> he thought he'd to do martial arts and just kick the shit out of anybody. We have Black Dynamite, of course, Kill Bill, Kill Bill 2, why did I just forget her name, I don't know, oh god, total brain fart, that's okay, you guys know who she is, we have that one dude, I can't remember who he is, Let's see if we get a picture of him with the hat, um, one of the survivors that just kicked ass, I remember he did that Hanging from the rafters thing and shooting zombies upside down. Badass. Then in Dead Alive, we have the priest. The kick-ass priest. Yes, he gets killed, but... Whew. Well, here we go. Yeah, this isn't a colored thing. I had to print this up because things happen, but... Anyways, uh, Kissy Jones... Grab this one, wonderful. You want to see what more what it's about and everything like that? I'm not going to steal his thunder or his glory. Go check out his vid. In fact, you know what? I'm going to leave a link to him right down below. You guys really need to check him out if you haven't. And one I almost picked, but didn't go with City of Violence. Uh, it's really about three friends. One gets killed, and these two who are on opposite sides of the law come together for a nasty, nasty, gut-chopping, head-crunching, ass-kicking time of revenge. I mean, it's non-stop violence, hence the name City of Violence. Came really close to picking that one. Oh, man. The ending, not what you suspect. Then we move on over. How could I not mention... Big Trouble in Little China. Okay? I mean, come on, Kurt Russell. Yeah, this is just great. As a great Jack Burton. But he's not the one that I'm kicking ass. I'm talking about his little buddy, Wang. That's right. That little dude really kicked some serious ass in the warehouse. Of course, Kurt Russell again with Snake Plissken. Come on, you know him, you love him, the legend. The man with no name, Clint Eastwood, the good and the bad, the ugly. Mm, love this movie. Can't haven't seen this in a while, but another heroine. Right here, these two, she's a cop, she's the thief. Beauty and just can kick serious ass. And where would I be if I didn't mention Chow Young Fat as tequila in Hard Boiled? Come on. So there's the background. But even with all these greats, and there's so many more, I just grabbed these. You know, where could I have gone? Well, some movies I thought about. Here's one. Came across this, and literally I fell in love with it. Uh, got it at Blockbuster as a steal of a deal. And that's the movie Chocolate. This girl kicks serious ass. She plays the girl that has eh, mental deficiencies, let's say. Okay? Being political correct. But she learns how to fight from watching TV and growing up as a little girl next to a boxing studio. The martial arts dojo. Anyways, 
she becomes extremely skilled. No, she's retarded. But man, does she beat ass. And beats ass good. Wonderful. You get a chance. Everybody needs to check out this flick. Chocolate. But no. That's not the pick. This is one oh, from my childhood. I love watch it all the time. And the guy just really kicks ass against all kinds of foes. Um, and against one of the best evil guys ever. I mean, get a load of that dude's eyebrows if you can. God, he can't. But anyways, the one arm boxer in Master of the Flying Guillotine. That's right. The one arm boxer. How many did he take on? I don't know. He takes on... Uh, two of the Master of the Flying Guillotine students kills them. Or, and then the Master of the Flying Guillotine goes after him for revenge. And he's got a bunch of other people that he hires to go after him. The one-armed boxer, that is. And there's the one-armed boxer. Dude's badass. But, no. Still, that's not it. I wanted to go with this, but no. I had to go with something else. Tattoo Door Man really inspired me to really think outside the box on this one. I had to do it. I had to go with someone from the TV series, The Venture Brothers. My pick for badass hero, one that just kicks ass, takes names, and doesn't take shit, Brock Samson. Yeah, just look at that. I mean, he takes a licking but keeps on taking. Here. Unfortunately, I'm having some computer problems. So I'm unable to do a uh, rip of a scene that I want so I can splice it in here. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to share it with you so you can watch it how I would watch it. Okay? Well, here we go, boys and girls. And here we are. This is season one. I just wanted to show you, give you a little bit of taste of what Brock can do when placed in an utterly difficult situation. You need to face opponents in utter depravity. Yeah. You get to see how much this man truly kicks ass. And here we go. There, was that kick-ass or what? Brock Sampson, the private bodyguard to none other than the Venture Brothers. Venture Brothers here, sorry, my mouth messed up. Oh, there you go. I mean, this movie just kicks butt. Uh, it's not even, it's actually a series. We got, what? Season 1, which you just saw a clip from Season 1. 
We have season two. Has what? Thirteen episodes. Um, oh, sorry, I dropped it. Season three, okay, which I believe, yeah, also has thirteen episodes. I mean, here we have titles on this. You know, the family that slays together stays together. Just awesome stuff. And here we have season four, which was actually broken up into two volumes. Okay, you have this one, uh, Venture Brothers Season 4, Volume 1, and Venture Brothers Season 4, Volume 2. These can be seen on Adult Swim and everything, but, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, I love this. Um, you got, like I said, you got what is it, Brock Sampson, who was actually the personal bodyguard of Dr. Rusty Venture. But he also takes care of Dr. Venture's two younger boys, Hank and Dean Venture, who get into a lot of trouble and are not the two sharpest knives in the drawer, if you get my meaning. Um, anyways, so there you have it. My pick for kick-ass hero, Brock Sampson of the Venture Brothers, a scene on Adult Swim. Well... There you go. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll catch you all later. Catch you tomorrow for day six. I have no idea, but I know it's going to be great. Oh, and I'm so looking forward to it. Take care. See you around.